Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to talk about the Puna Store brush. These are the 10 Puna Store brushes I'll be talking about today in this video. I've been using these brushes from past one and a half years, I think ever since I started doing my makeup. These are really good quality brushes, you guys. They're super inexpensive. I bought them for around 450 or 475. I'm going to provide the link in the description box just in case you want to check out these brushes. I'll show you the usage of each brush with the help of the product and then you can see for yourself how these brushes have worked on my face. So please watch the video till the end to know. There are 10 brushes in this set, 5 for face and 5 for eyes. You will not find every brush for your face or eyes but as a beginner if you're just starting if you're just starting to do your makeup here, if you're just learning how to do your makeup then these brushes will do for you and the last important thing i want to mention about these brushes before i start the video that there is no shedding of hair whatsoever i have washed these brushes multiple times and trust me guys there is no shedding at all so if you want to know how these brushes work then let's start the video so let's start with the foundation first i have already prepped my face with the moisturizer and this is the first brush i'll be using this is flat at the top and it's quite dense also I'm applying my foundation with the help of this brush. And blending out the product so that I get the desired finish. Making sure that it covers every inch of my face. Now guys, I'm not a huge fan of this brush. This brush gives me those lines which I don't want on my face. So, and for that flawless finish, I'll go back to my beauty sponge. This is from Pack. So you're looking for a good beauty sponge that is inexpensive and at the same time of good quality. Then you can buy this Pack beauty sponge. So I'm blending the foundation with it on my face so that my face does not look unblended or cakey and everything looks seamless on my face I really love this sponge guys I also mentioned this in uh, one of my video where I showed you how to use beauty sponge this is a beautiful sponge from PAX once everything is blended on my face I will move on to my concealer for concealer there is as such no brush in this set so I will apply the concealer with the help of the same beauty sponge I blended my foundation with for concealer I will be taking the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Pure Beige. I'm going back to my same beauty sponge and I'm blending this concealer out under my eyes. And very gently I press this product under my eyes with this is the most delicate area of our face so you got to be really gentle while blending the product for applying loose powder i'll be using this tapered face brush which looks like this and i'll be using Maybelline fit me loose powder in the shade medium and with the help of this brush i'll Set my concealer under my eyes first. This is actually a tapered face brush. I think it can be used to apply foundation but I haven't used it to apply the foundation. So uh, you guys can give it a try if that works for you. You can surely go ahead and apply your foundation. Whatever is left in my brush. I'm setting my entire face with this brush. With the help of this angle contour brush, which is the fluffy one, this is the angle contour brush in the set. I'll just remove the excess powder. It's a contour brush, but I sometimes use it to apply loose powder on my entire face and I also remove the excess of loose powder. The next two brushes in this set are the contour brush one is this round contour brush this is the round shape brush 
fluffy at the top and is best for the application of contour and bronzing now i'll move on to the contouring and for that i'm taking the wet n wild contour palette this is in the shade caramel toffee you can use one brush for more than one purpose and that's the beauty about these brushes guys so now i will contour and bronze my face with the help of this angle contour brush Very lightly I have contoured my face and now I will move on to bronzer. For bronzer I am taking the sugar bronzer and with the help of the same brush I will be applying this bronzer. This is in the shade Woody Wonder 02. I can't emphasize more on the fact guys these brushes are really good, really gentle and soft on your skin. So do give these brushes a try. Especially the beginners or those who are just you know learning to do makeup, I think they are worth buying. For blush, I'll be using this fluffy contour brush. And if you've watched my earlier videos, you know I love to apply my blush with the help of this brush. And the blush I'm using is from Maybelline Wee Face. This is in the shade Peach. Moving on to the last brush of face. This is the flat buffing brush. This is angled at the top and dense. Now if you do not know what is the buffing brush, let me give you a brief about this. A buffing brush is a dense brush that enables you to evenly buff the product into your skin. They usually work well with the powder products like your powder foundation or your powder blush. Because they are dense enough, you don't have to keep dipping this brush into the product and that makes this brush suitable for those who do not have much time. With the help of this buffing brush, you can also go and do your contour and you know, blend the edges precisely. Now for the highlighter, I'll be using this eye brush. This is actually an angle crease brush, but this will work perfectly for applying highlighter. So this is how you can use this eye brush to highlight your face. To apply products onto your skin, there are no strict rules that you got to use a specific brush for a specific application as far as you know how to do your makeup and you know that brush works for you pretty well. Now let's talk about the 5 eye brushes this Yuna Store brush set has and I'll show you one by one how they can be used for your eyeshadow application. So to begin with, I'll start with the eyeshadow blending brush and this is the eyeshadow blending brush. This is angular in shape and dense at the top. Now for the eyeshadow palette, I'm taking this LA Color eyeshadow palette which I've used multiple times in my videos. I'm taking this shade over here as my transition shade. So with the help of this blending brush, I'm applying my first transition shade. The application with the help of this brush is really smooth. I'm blending the eyeshadow in the circular motions and back and forth motions, making sure that I do not have any harsh edges whatsoever. There are three crease brushes in the set. One is flat angle brush, one uh, the uh, another one is angle crease brush, and the third one is a flat top crease brush. With the help of this flat angle brush, I will show you how you can apply your transition shade and use this crease brush for even applying your transition shade. And this is how you can use this brush for more than one application. And I can always go back to my blending brush and blend out the eyeshadow, making sure that I do not have any harsh edges and the application looks smooth. Now with the help of this flat top crease brush, which looks like this, I'm taking this 
second eyeshadow and going to apply this on my crease area and also covering my eyelid with this so you can apply your eyeshadow onto your crease as well as you can bring down your eyeshadow to your eyelids I'm repeating the same thing on my another eye and with the help of this flat top crease brush you can again apply the first transition shade I took and intensify that color Now we have the last brush in this set and this is the flat pointy tone brush. You can see the shape of this brush. This is pointy at the edge and I'll be using this brush to apply eyeshadow on my lower lash line. You can also use this brush to smudge your eyeliner and curl. I've already done a video in which I'm using this brush to smudge out my curl. I'll provide the link of that video in the end so do not miss and please go and watch that video to see the application of this brush you can also use this brush to apply highlighter in your, your inner corners and you can also use this brush to apply highlighter on your brow bone so now you know that you can use one brush for more than one purpose so I'm taking the same highlighter again from Maybelline and I'll just show you that you can do your inner corners with the help of this brush And you can also apply highlighter on your brow bone with the help of this brush. And in the end, I'll take this buffing brush I talked about and I'll just buff everything onto my skin because I used powdered blush, powdered contour and powder bronzer. So, so making sure that everything gets buffed into my skin. So this is the final look guys which I did with the help of these brushes. I hope you'll find this video useful. Please hit the like button, make sure to subscribe to my channel and also please hit the bell icon so that you'll be notified whenever I'll be posting a video in future. I'll be providing the link of my videos on the screen so that you can watch my earlier videos as well. Thank you so much for watching guys. I'm going to see you in my next. Till then, keep smiling, stay positive. Bye.